Oh, hello, my little hero. How was your... Uh, uh, oh, uh, it's nothing. <laughs> I just don't think I've ever seen you so cosy. Uh, well, I'm glad you like that sweater. It's one of my favourites, actually. Funny you picked that one. Oh no, uh, no. Oh, you can keep it. It suits you better anyway. <sighs> uh, right then. Pasta's ready. Sit down, I'll, uh, bring it to the table. <sighs> I, uh, hope you like it. I don't actually do a whole lot of cooking. Kind of pointless when it's just me around this place. I mean, usually other people cook for me, so... Are you feeling a bit better after your shower? That suit kind of been comfortable after trudging through the sewers. <laughs> I'm glad. Though, why the sewers, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, Surely, you could have just travelled as your civilian self, and then switched to your superhero suit once you were nearby, if you were looking for the element of surprise, that is. <laughs> well, with the amount of times you've scared the shit out of me, I would have thought you had stealth down near down to a science by now. That one time? Uh, no, I did not squeal. I yelped. There's a difference, you know. Now, the time that I managed to catch you off guard and dunked you in the lake, that was a squeal. <laughs> you look like an angry, although sort of adorable, drowned rat when you surfaced. Ugh, no. I'm never going to let you live that down. <laughs> hmm. New Zealand has to have some beautiful lakes. Maybe I can... Go for round two. <sighs> Getting off track. My point was, why hide in the sewers? I just can't make much sense of it. Unless you weren't hiding from me. Is that what it is? You were hiding from someone else? Ugh. I swear... That council is treating you more like an animal on a leash than an actual person. Oh, speaking of animals. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bengalsworth. Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from, boy? God, you might be a terrible guard dog, but you are the bestest of boys, aren't you? Who's so good? Who's such a good boy? Oh, you're so gorgeous. Look at you. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Well... The names you gave them, they've all kind of stuck. Mr. Binglesworth, Phoebe, Leviathan, and Jeffrey are a lot easier to remember than working out which is which among canine one, two, three, and four. <sighs> He's a good boy. Nah, they're not actually that bad at their jobs. The dogs are trained to ward off threats... But, well, you never really were a threat, so they had no reason to attack you. If I'm being honest, they kicked into emotional support animal mode around you most of the time. <laughs> There's no reason to be embarrassed. Everyone needs support at some point or another, and it seems like the council was doing their best to take that support away from you. You are so strong for having stuck to your morals despite all of it. No matter the pressure you were under, you never put catching a villain ahead of the safety of the civilians. You're noble, you're strong, and despite that, you are allowed to lean on someone else 
every once in a while. I, uh, uh, well, I, uh, I didn't intend for that to be literal. Not right now, but... No, hey, it's, it's all right. You don't have to move. You're more than welcome to rest against my shoulder. You must be tired. As long as you can still eat in that position, then by all means, stay as you are. <laughs> you finished your food rather quickly. I, I'm glad you liked it. I was a little nervous. <laughs> Why don't we head to the sofa? It'll be much more comfortable than a dining chair. There you go. Just relax. You don't have to be on edge here, I promise. Even my employees have respect for you given how you don't give them life-threatening injuries like some of the other heroes. <laughs> You're safe here, darling. <laughs> oh, it seems Mr. Bingglesworth agrees. <laughs> ah, you look so content lying on your lap like that. You've got a way with him, you know. You look so cute, cuddled up together like that. Uh, <clears throat> no, I didn't say a word. Nothing for you to worry about, I assure you. Yeah, let me put my arm around you like this. And you can lean into me. Uh, just like that. Are you comfortable? Good. I've got you, darling. You just focus on your breathing. You need to rest. That's it. You're doing wonderfully. Would you mind if I played with your hair for a bit? <laughs> it looks so soft. Freshly showered. Thank you for indulging me, darling. <sighs> it really is so soft. <laughs> I'm used to seeing it messed up from a fight. In fact, I'm not sure I've ever seen you out of your uniform before. It's really nice to see you more casually like this. You have no idea how much it means to me that you're able to relax around me like this. It can't be easy, given everything that's happened, the history we share. I wouldn't blame you if this was completely impossible. Oh, no, it's okay. We can talk about it if and when you're ready to. You know, if you're ever so inclined. You're under no obligation to talk about all that stuff. I'm happy to just look to a brighter future. You're safe here, my little hero. Yeah, of course I meant it. When I said I'd help you. We'll get you out of this mess, I promise you. <laughs> Yes, I swear on my anti-hero costume, I'm not going anywhere. You're stuck with me, little hero. <laughs> I'll keep watch over you, I assure you. Shh. 
it's okay. Just rest. The time for worrying is over. Anything else on your mind can wait until you've slept. Mm. Sweet dreams, my darling.